Fitness is all about getting better. You don't get better on one day, but you get better when you work on yourself every day. Hi and welcome to a brand new episode of Fitness Extended. My name is Niran Panapa and I will be your coach through all the SNC sessions. In each session I will share a challenge with you and if you're lucky, you can get to win some cool boat gear. But for now, let's start with the warm up. Before we begin, let's set up the workout mode to home exercise mode on my boat smartwatch. I'm going to get that done. Let's continue now and we're going to start with the warm up where we'll be doing 30 seconds each. We have four movements. The first one's going to be something called inchworm. So here's how it goes. I want you to keep your feet shoulder width apart. Drive your hips back as much as you can. Uh, bend your knees only if it's really needed. Reach down, walk down to the plank position where your head is forward and hips slightly below shoulder. From there, we're going to walk back up. Try and keep your legs straight as much as possible. Stand tall. That's going to be the inch one. If you're feeling uncomfortable, go slightly wider or bend your knee a little bit. Okay, let's start this. I'll tell you all each as we get there. Let's start in three, two, and one. Drive your hips back. Reach down, walk down as much as you can. Plank position. As you come up, keep your legs straight. Stand tall. Yeah? If you really need to, then only then you bend your knees. Your first option is to get your legs slightly wider. And only after that, if you feel you're still not able to keep the legs straight, then bend the knee a bit. But when I say go wide, I want you to go slightly wider than shoulder as a max. Yeah? Five more seconds. We have two rounds of warm-ups. You can always go a little bit more on the next one. Let's just get one more rep in. And up we go. Excellent. Our next one is going to be a squat T-spine rotation. For that, we're going to go down to the squat position. I'm going to show you all sideways and forward. Keep your feet slightly wider than shoulder for this particular move. From there, toes go out. Drop your hips as low as you can, preferably below parallel. From there, one hand goes down. Reach the hand up. Drop down. Other hand goes up. Okay, I'm going to show you all sideways also. Then we start drop. There, drop. Lift the hand up, pause there. Okay, let's start this in three, two, and one. Let's go. Reach, stay down. Okay, we're going to be staying down. Keep pushing your knees out. Toes are pointing out. As you lift your hand up, you'll feel your mid back. That's your mid spine. Kind of open out and extend. That's what we're looking at. Well done. Lift the hand up nice and high. Just got a few more seconds. Just keep pushing the hips down. And that's done. Yeah. The next one's going to be something called bird dog. What we're going to do over here is we're going to do 15 seconds on each side. So let's drop down. Knees are below your hips. Palms below shoulder. From there, opposite hand and leg. You're going to lift the leg up. Opposite hand comes up. Now, from here, you bring your knee to elbow, tuck in, extend out. That's what we're going to do. All right, let's start this in three, two, and one. Let's finish one side first. Tuck in, extend out. As you extend out, make sure to squeeze your glutes. Lift the hand up nice and high. Extend the leg fully. Yeah, we're going to do 15 seconds in each side. That's it. Let's get one more rep in. Let's switch side now. Starting position and then go in. Tuck. Extend, tuck, extend. Good job. Make sure you're breathing. Do not hold your breath at any point in time. Inhale and exhale. Must continue. Well done. Let's get one more rep in. Excellent. From here, we move to something called jumping jacks. This is going to help us lift the heart rate up. That's going to be our last exercise for round number one. Then we're going to repeat all of them again. For jumping jacks, I'd feet, feet close to each other. Lift the hand up all the way and back. That's it. Okay. Let's start this in three, two, and one. Keep it nice and simple. Make sure that you're just going slightly wider than shoulder on the feet. Do not go too wide. Get the hand up all the way. Your option is to step, 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 step. That's your option. Okay. Use them wisely. You have one more round, so we can always pick up the pace over there to lift the heart rate up before we go into the main workout. Five more seconds here. 
Good start, guys. Good start. Just maintain that. Keep it simple, and we are done. Let's go back to the first movement, which is your inchworm. Now that you're warmed up, you should be able to keep your leg a little bit more straighter than what it was in round number one. Let's keep that in mind and begin round number two in three, two, and one. Inchworms. Drive back. Walk forward. Plank position. Walk back. Stand tall. Don't forget to breathe. Please don't hold your breath at any point in time. I'm just exaggerating my breathing here so you remember. That way I remind you all to exhale. Inhale will auto happen automatically. Let's just get one more rep in. Good start there guys, good start. And that's done. From there we go to the squat T-spine rotation. Feet slightly wider than shoulder, knees are out. Slow down whenever you need to, okay? Listen to your body. Drop down, hand down, up all the way, and back. Keep switching side. Let's move. Keep the hips nice and low. Keep your knees pushed out. Feet flat. Please make sure your heel remains down throughout the move. Do not lift your heel at any point in time, please. Lift the hand up high. Lift the hand up high. We've got 10 more seconds. We should be able to get in two on each side. Let's get one more on this side. And that's done. Brilliant. From here we go to bird dog. 15 seconds each side. Palms directly below shoulder. Knees directly below hips. From there, one leg goes up. Alternate hand comes up. Let's begin. Tuck in, extend, tuck in, extend. We're not looking at going fast over here. It needs to be nice and controlled. So ensure you're focusing on tucking in, extending out. Tucking in, extending out. Let's change side. Start position, let's begin. Tuck in, extend. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Keep it controlled, keep it controlled. Nice and easy, we're lifting the heart rate up. And that's done. From there we move to our jumping jacks for 30 seconds, starting in three, two, and one. You know your options. You can always do the stepping jack, which is this. Uh, small step, don't go wide, okay? That's basically if you're feeling tired or if you have any sort of a knee or ankle issue, you wanna slow that down. You wanna keep a low impact. Now keep that in mind. The idea is to be able to do a little bit every day to help you get better. Remember what I said in the beginning. Five more seconds. And that's done. Brilliant. I'm going to do a quick check on my heart rate. Oh, that's a good start for the warm-up. That's about 130, which has got me to my aerobic zone. And also the fat burn zone. Super. I'm going to keep checking on that. Now, we're going to move to our first main workout. It's going to be an EMOM. EMOM means every minute on minute, which means movement one, we have 20 lateral lunges. So I'm going to show you all the move, just getting out the concept. If I finish my 20 lateral lunges in let's say 40 seconds, the rest of the minute, which is 20 seconds remaining, is my break. If I take 50 seconds, 5-0, 10 seconds is a break. Okay, that said, don't try to rush it. Focus more on getting the movement right. Let me show you movement number one. Lateral lunge is when you step to the side, take all the weight on the outside leg, toes and knees pointing forward, drop, come back up. And we go the other side. Okay? Drop and back up. That's two. We're going to do 20. Okay? Focus on toes and knees forward, push the hip down. Movement one. Movement number two is going to be jump squats. I'm going to show you all, all because we don't have a break in between. Right. Movement two is jump squats. For that, start with feet shoulder width apart. I want you all to drop almost parallel, jump up, land soft. When I say land soft, please don't land there. Okay? When you're landing, I want you to bend your knee and your hip and land. That's going to be your landing. Where you're going to drop and then we go again. You're only going to jump as high as you can land soft. That's movement number two. Movement number three is going to be step froggers. For that, we start off in the high plank position. 
from here we step 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 okay every time you go back make sure your head is forward hands are below chest not here okay more about that in a while but once again step 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 that's it that's going to be a step froggers three movements we have three rounds which means 9 minutes okay let's begin the first one's lateral lunge 20 reps in total the other two are going to be 15 jump squats 10 step froggers every time you go and come back that's one okay more about it when we get there let's start the lateral lunge in 3 2 and 1 20 in total reach come back go to the other side shift your weight to the outside leg that's 3 as you lunge make sure your feet are flat on the floor don't lift your heel up i want you to focus on pushing the hip down don't get a chest down only focus on dropping the hip down you need to feel that weight on your quadriceps and your glutes i've got 10 more which means i probably am not going to get much of a break between this and the next movement six more drive the hip back and down make sure your heel remains down throughout the move and back straight one more neat side for me in case you guys are going faster or slower that's fine but make sure you're focusing on range yeah range means i don't want you all to go down don't be in a hurry just a step okay five more seconds before we go to jump squats 3 2 1 15 drive back jump up drive back drive the hips back okay 3 take it at your pace drive the hip back and up extend your hip as you jump up 7 8 9 10 Nine, breathe out. Ten, five more. One, land soft. Three, four. One more. Five. Ha! Ah. Now that gives us a thirty-second breather. In case you guys, please remember, I only want you to jump up as much as you can land soft. Don't jump so high when you're landing; you're going wobbly. All right? You have to have a nice, strong landing. The landing you need to feel really firm. Like a plant to the ground, yeah. That's how much should be. It's okay if you're just jumping this much off the ground. That's okay. The idea is not to jump high. The idea is only jump where you know you can control it. Last move is going to be a step. Frogger starting in three, two, and one. This is minute three. Step, step, step back, step back. That's one. That's two. Remember to drop the hip down every time you step back. Your hips need to be slightly below. Shoulder level. Is that four or is that five? I don't know. I'm just going to take it at four. I just get to do an extra rep. More the merrier. Four more. Nice and easy. Take a nice big step forward. Keep that hip low. You're going to feel your hip open out as you do this. I'm going to get one more rep in, and that's going to be the end of round one. After. Aye. That's done. I've got 15 seconds to breathe. Feels good. Yeah. Last round one. We got two more rounds. Take it at your pace. Where's my heart rate? Where's my heart rate? Huh. Okay. That's about 120. That's a good heart rate to have. Round number two. Let's go. Reach and back. Reach and back. I'm going to talk more about tracking in a bit. Yeah. And how these things help. That's six. See that six. Keep that coming. You got twenty seconds. Done. Remember, we got twenty reps in total. Okay, twenty reps in total. Ten more to go. Drive the hips back and down. Keep your back straight. So lift your chest up. So lift yourself chest up. That'll help you keep your spine in neutral position. Four more for me. Like I said, it's okay if you guys are going faster or slower. Do as much as you can. Stay with me. That's done. 10 seconds to breathe. So guys, if you're taking longer, you get a shorter break. That's okay. Listen to your body. Yeah, that's how you progress. Three, two, one. Jump squats starting in three, two, one. Go. 15. Land soft. Make sure you're driving your hips back and down as you land. Taking that pressure from your ball of your foot into your heel, and then you're going down. Okay. 
Seven more for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Brilliant. Pause. We've got a 30 second break. I'm going to make the most of it. My heart rate's up. It's at about 140 at the moment. Because anything you do with jumping automatically lifts the heart rate up. So you're going to feel that little bit of struggle while breathing, which is normal. So when that happens, take deeper breaths. Yeah? Don't try to hold your breath. You're just trying to control it to bring it down slowly. Okay? Just be aware of it. Awareness is great. Next, stepping froggers. Starting in three, two, and one. This is round number two. That's one. Step, step, step back, step back. That's two. Every time you go back, make sure you drop your hips below shoulder. That's four. That's five. Stay with me, stay with me. Six. Keep your head up. Seven. Look slightly forward. Eight. Hand in line with the chest throughout the move. Nine. One last one. Ten. Twenty second break. Man, you can see I'm sweating this one out. Good one. We have one more round. We're going to make the most of that. 15 seconds before we start, walk around, have a sip of water if you need to. Yeah. We need to keep switching every minute. Yeah. Five more seconds. Let's go. Last round, last round. Reach, back, reach, back. That's four. The idea over here is to move your body to that outside leg. Move it, yeah? And then drop that hip down. You gotta feel that in your glutes and your quads. Excellent work. 10, 10 more, 10 more. One, two, chest up. Just lift the chest up as you go down. Automatically works the muscles around your spine. Five, six, last four, last four. Seven, eight, drop that hips down. Nine, because hips don't lie. Okay, excellent. 20 reps done. The next one is gonna be jump squats. I'll have to keep that. Check on where the heart rate is and see how it's modulating with different movements. You learn a lot about yourself that way. All right, next one, jump squats, 15 reps. Stay with me, three, two, one, go. Reach, back, exhale, four, five, six, Seven, extend the hip. As you jump up, extend the hip. Five more for me. One, and soft. Two, three, four, five. One last move, 30 seconds left. That's gonna be a break time because we finished 30 seconds earlier. That's what EMOM is about. Every minute, what are the designated repetitions? Push, relax. Now let me go on to the next one. Push, relax. Last move, step froggers. Last exercise for the last round of our first main workout. Okay, let's start this in five seconds. Let's get down, let's get ready. Three, two, and one. Step, step, and go back. One. Every time you step forward, try and keep your hands on the mat. Don't get that off. Three, four. Every time you go back, Hips below shoulder, five, six, seven. Go at your pace, it's okay if you're slower. Eight, nine, one last one. You guys are doing great. 10, aye, aye, aye. That was good. That was the first main workout. We have one more in store for you, but before that, I want you all to have a quick sip of water. Yeah, just feel the heart rate come down just a little bit before we take that and lift it up again. Uh, and while you guys sip on water, I'm gonna give you a quick boat tip of the day. Yeah, what you can't measure, you can't improve. Now, when you apply this tip in fitness, it makes so much sense. One of the best ways to progress and improve is to measure your journey and correct your mistakes on the way, yeah? And uh, the easiest way to do this 
is by using devices like this that helps you track your fitness, like the Boat smartwatch. Yeah, that's what I want today. So it helps you kind of keep a check on your heart rate. You know what's happening. You know good days, bad days, all of that. Yeah, and also what that does is helping me keep a check on my step for the whole day. It's helping me know how many calories I'm burning. So in case, what are my goal is? For example, my goal is weight loss. I know that I need to have, if this is how much calories I burn through the day, I need to eat a little lesser than that to make sure there's a deficit for me to be losing weight to get to my desired weight. That's just an example. Also in terms of the heart, on days you've not slept, on days you've slept, you'll realize the difference in terms of what's happening with your heart rate as you work out. It's a good way for you to know what works for you and what doesn't. On that note, let's jump into our next EMOM. Again, three rounds, but this time just two movements. It's going to be 10 forward lunges each leg and quick feet for 30 seconds, which means just 30 seconds we go all in and 30 seconds we get to go, take a break, okay? That's what we get to do. Let me tell you what's the first movement. Let me show you guys. So forward lunges when you step forward. So we're going to step forward, try and touch that back knee down, step back, alternate leg and back. You got to keep the chest up. That's going to be movement one, 10 each leg, which means 20 reps in total. Along with that, quick feet on the next minute for 30 seconds. Here's how it goes. You just move as quick as you can. You can swing your hand there. You can swing your hand here. Yeah, but don't keep your hands firm. Okay, that's something I don't want you all to do. Move your hands wherever you feel comfortable, but keep that movement and focus on just quick, short steps. Yeah, 30 seconds, we just go all in there. Uh, let's get to these two movements. Starting off with forward lunge, 20 reps in total. 10 each, starting in three. Two and one. Reach forward. As you come back, make sure to stand tall. That's five. Keep your chest up. The front leg heel should be down. We've got ten more to go in total. Five each leg. Work the hand. Just six more. Drop, back up, make sure you're using that front leg to push yourself back. Last two, one each side. One more, just one more. Brilliant work, brilliant work. That's 20 reps there, we've got 20 seconds break before we go to quick feet for 30 seconds. This one, I want you to go your maximum. Whatever it is for you, okay? Some of you might be going faster than me, some of you might be staying with me, some of you might be going slow. Whatever it is for you, is what I want you to do, okay? Hang on with me on that. Three, two, one, let's go. Quick feet, move your hand sideways. Move your hand forward and back. Whatever it is that works. But I want you to move your feet fast. That's the important part. What was fast for you? 30 seconds of this is no joke. 15 seconds more. We're only halfway through. 10 more seconds, this is round number one. Just two movements here. Uh, just two movements. Three. Two, and one. Excellent. 30 second breather before we go to round number two for a forward lunge. While well, you guys catch your breath, you can walk around, wipe yourself. If you're having water, please have small sips. Very important, keep it small sips. Okay? 10 more seconds before we go to the forward lunge. I'm gonna get to position. Shake those legs off. Five more seconds. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good check. Ah, right, let's go. Round number two. Reaching back. Brilliant work. Four. Five. Chest up as you go down. I want to look forward. Shoulders pointing forward. Facing forward, sorry. Breathe out as you come up. I'm going to be doing ten more. Five on each leg. Two. Try and touch the back knee down. Don't bang the back knee down. Nine and 10. Ay, ay, ay. 20 seconds more before we go to quick feet. We've got 15 more seconds before we get there. Shaking the legs off, giving that for a little bit of a break. Yeah, letting him breathe a little. Man, I love the heart rate being pushed up. Ready, round number two, starting in three, of quick feet. Two, and one, move. Ah, 
I've got a different movement happening for the hand this time. Just mimicking the running. Wherever you guys are comfortable. Uh, your hand might be going slower. Ouch! 10 more seconds. Calf's on fire. It's not just y'all. It's me too. Stay with me. Three, two, and one. Ouch! Ah, one last round, my friends. One last round. And then we are done. Uh, we'll go to stretches after that. So on that note, I want you to push yourself in the last round. What was your best effort? Yeah. First thing is uh, always say, focus on the range of motion. So make sure you're going down on the lunge yeah, and stand tall every rep. We've got five more seconds before we start our last round. Start to get those smiles back. It's your last one. Three, two, one, let's move. Reach and back. Chest up automatically helps you Engage the core, yeah, because when you slouch off like that, this fellow ain't working anymore. Yeah, Got to keep that up, making sure you're engaging both the top and the bottom. Also, when you hold up like that, you're working the muscles around your spine, which is your rectus spina, helping you stay tall. I'm going to be doing eight more. Stay with me. Drop, back, drop, back. Six more. Two, three, four, last two my friends, five, six, that's the last two over the road. Uh, good job. Last movement, quick feet over here. For the guys who've, who've been a little bit more conservative in the first two rounds, push a little more. It's okay if somewhere in between you happen to slow down. Yeah, in those 30 seconds, somewhere in 20 seconds, slow down, that's okay. All right, let's go, reach. You can always pick up the pace after two, three seconds, but just try not to stop. Yeah, let's go. Excellent work, excellent work. Stay with me, we've got 15 seconds more, my friends. Just 15 seconds more. Almost there, almost there. Five more seconds. Cops, stay with me, my cops. Don't leave me. Three, two, and one. Ouch, that's done. Excellent. Excellent. Quick check on this. What are you tracking, my friend? What are you tracking? We're about 145, which is a good heart rate to be having when you're pushing there. Got my calories in check as well. Good, good. And guys, also remember, one is the calorie part when you are exercising, but because of the exercise, there's also going to be a burn later on. So through the day when this tracks, it's going to give you a lot more information. Okay? Uh, on that note, have a quick sip of water. It's time to stretch. Very, very important to make sure that we stretch. Every single time we work out. Always make sure you finish off with stretches. Keep that heart rate down. Yeah. Allows you to... That's when you can track. That's another thing about tracking. So you know where you were when you were working out. And... When you finish the cool down, how much has come down? So you really feel that difference when you visually see something also, yeah? Start understanding your body, you kind of get a sense of it. Uh, let's quickly get to stretches. We're gonna start off with a quad stretch, 30 seconds in each side. Let's go to the lunge position. I'm gonna show you the other leg, it's the first one. Option one, you can keep this hand down. Yeah, you're gonna hold the ankle in the back. You have the option of keeping the hand down over here. Okay, if you're comfortable, you can come up, hold with both. Hold the ankle with both hands. Make sure you're pulling your heel close to the hips. Let's begin. Front leg, heel should be down. Yeah, and from there, I want you to drive your hip forward so you feel the stretch in your quadriceps and your hip flexor as well. Okay, and your hip flexor as well. Drive your hip forward. Nice deep breaths as you stretch. Nice deep breaths. You automatically start to feel it coming down slowly but surely okay hang in there let's switch leg now slowly release let's get the other leg forward grab the ankle in the back drive your hip forward and stay and nothing like a good quad stretch not just for your workouts but even through the day depending on the kind of work each of us are doing if you're ending up sitting a lot the quads get really 
tight, the hip flexors get tight. So stretch like this really helps open out those hip flexors, get us back to our good balanced posture. Keep driving that hip forward, keep the chest up. Excellent. Now from there, let's change to something called the Finks pose, which is sort of a half cobra. Yeah. I want you to get your elbow just below the shoulder. From there, lift your chest up as high as you can. Look forward, keep your hips on the floor, and we've begun. Stay there. Good show. I'm sure all of you are starting to feel that heart rate go down. Yeah, I'm not going to look at my watch right now. I'm going to wait for the cool down to get over and then check the heart rate. So really see that difference. Five more seconds here. Just relax. This is a very, very relaxed position. Just keep lifting the chest up, allowing that spine to extend. And we are done. From there, we go to something called down dog. This one's going to help stress the calves, the hamstrings, entire posterior chain. The posterior chain is all the muscles in the back. Let's start on that high plank position. From here, we're going to lift the hips up nice and high. Push the heel down. Bend your knee just a little bit and focus on pushing the hips up. Arms extended. Let's begin. Press your palm into the floor. Keep pushing the hips up. Drive your heel down as much as you can. Knees are soft. Push the hips up towards the ceiling. Push the hip up towards the ceiling. Just 10 more seconds, my friend. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Slowly come out of it. From there, we're going to be standing up for our last stretch. It's called the standing straddle. We're going to stand up, get the legs nice and wide. Feel that stretch on the inner thigh. Yeah. From there, I want you to drive your hips back. Reach down as much as you can. Nice deep breaths, feet flat. Start to get your smiles back on. My hands are itching to go and check the heart rate. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna wait 10 more seconds before I do that. Three, two, one. Slowly come up. Get your feet close. Ay, ay, ay. And up. Okay, no more patience. I'm going to check the heart rate. Excellent. Now I've got my heart rate down from where it was at about 140. It's come down to about 105. It's hovering and slowly moving down from there. So it's good. You can, I can really feel that difference as well. You start to calm down and as you walk around, it's going to come back to your normal resting heart rate, which for many of you all, resting as in like when you're walking resting, not working out, uh, not sleeping resting. It's probably going to be at about in the 80s, 90s range. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure I'm just going to see that in about 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah, And that brings us to the end of the session. Yeah. By the way, we have something called the Boat Fitness Challenge of the Day. What I want you all to do is share your pic or video of something which I'm going to tell you all, which is the movement of the day. And that for today is going to be jump squats. So what I want you all to do is take a pic or a video of you doing jump squats. Put that up on our Facebook community page called Stronger Together with Cult Fit Life. Yeah. And use the hashtag Fitness Extended. And don't forget to tag the boat Facebook page. Yeah. Top lucky winners stand a chance to win boat gear. I'm sure all of you all want that. Yeah. On that note, it's time for me to sign off. This is Fitness Extended. And I am Niran. Thank you. For more such workout videos, download the Culprit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.